we're back. Hello. The New Testament also talks about forsaking not the assembly of the believer. Now, so a few months ago, I prayed and I asked the Lord, would you have me to continue this inspirational ministry? And, and what would you want the focus of these uh, little videos to be? And I thought about it, you know, during the, that pandemic, a lot of us got away from the community of God. We got away from the buildings of God. We got away from the church of God. But I, I want to encourage you during this Christmas season, as you plan to uh, attend worship on Christmas Day, uh, to let that be a little spark that ignites a reminder that Christ invites us uh, to salvation through the architecture of the church. Hallelujah Hometown presents Away in Manger. Experience Christ's invitation to salvation through the architecture of the Christian church. Angels we have heard on high silent night. Oh, come on, ye faithful. You know it is that time of the year. All right, Brother Jim. Uh, that we celebrate time with family and most importantly, um, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Join us now and watch Grant Lewis travel to the Cathedral of the Assumption, Freeman Chapel, the Cathedral of the Incarnation, and other sacred spaces across the United States, reflecting on Luke, the second chapter, verse 7, that says, And she brought forth their firstborn son, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. By the way, um, the sun is making its way back into the western hemisphere. A lot of things are uh, changing today. We visited the Cathedral of the Incarnation in Nashville, Tennessee. We saw uh, how the church works with other churches in Nashville and is it called Rooms in the Room in there. To help um, impact and uh, put a dent into that, that homeless, um, let's face it, epidemic. It's great. The greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, we were at Freeman Chapel. You saw Miss Patricia on Sunday. Um, it was so cool. She shared something. I can reach my love. Oh, yes. 
So far, Mr. Roger Lee Travis, we will get to go to the Cathedral of the Assumption and to Hawkinsville, Kentucky, um, to Freedom Chapel, which is a historic African American church. And now we are here at this Grand Cathedral. Now, what's taking place here? Uh, this is called the Room in the Inn program, uh, where we put up uh, homeless guys for, uh, for a night. The, uh, the Bed, shower, one look. Clean underwear, socks. In the morning, they'll have breakfast and sit in the way with the sacrament. Uh, we are one, just one of many churches in the Nashville area that participate in the room and the universe. This is one of those I've been involved in now for, I think, six or seven years. Thank you for your commitment, sir. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. These beds are very comfortable, and that chicken was absolutely 
<laughs> delicious, Mr. Rogers. But I certainly want to commend you for your um, commitment uh, to the mission work. You know, 600,000 individuals are experiencing homelessness right now, uh, tonight, in the United States. So um, for a ministry like this to take place right here in I think it's the greatest city, Houston, City, USA. This is this is absolutely amazing, and I thank you for your time. Sir. I, I, I will clarify: we have 20 guys here. Uh, some churches have fewer than that. I think 20 is about the most any one church takes. And there are, I'm told, I understand that there are some separate programs for women here on the street. And so it's part of the same program. Amen. That is uh, phenomenal. I hope that you have a happy holiday. And if there's, um, before we get off here, I want to ask, how can the community support uh, the women? Yes, sir. Uh, financially, or uh, we have, it takes uh, at least 20 people every night that we eat. Bear the meals, inflate the mattresses, and in the morning to the process and uh, get the guys back downtown to the uh, center. It's, it's a, we, we have volunteers, a lot of the people uh, who you saw here tonight are really not members of this particular church. There are other Catholic churches for the most part. But, uh, some are, are not Catholic. We welcome help from anybody. <laughs> and financially, uh, you can go on the uh, website of the Cathedral of the Incarnation, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a place on there where you can uh, make a financial contribution to the women. Amen. So, Please support um, financially um, on the church's website. And also, I'm sure they happen to get some volunteers every now and then. Sure. Again, I want to say thank you um, for your time. You can check out this video on YouTube. Just type in Hallelujah Hometown and the word Advent. And you'll see that face. Anybody ever tell you you kind of look like a president? <laughs> Which one? Well, I, don't know. I was told a couple of times. Are you still feeling I was told a couple of times that I looked like George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we were, we were on a cruise in the Mediterranean a few years ago, and a lady came to our table, and he said, I'm, I'm not George Bush. And she said, well, you look so much like him. Will you take your picture with us? <laughs> so we said, it's my favorite. We cut that part. Yeah, look at me, man. My face is ashy. <laughs> Jeff, what's up, man? How you doing? How y'all doing out there? This hour, uh, we on Broadway Jubilee. This is my man, Jeff. Another uh, Nashvilleian with a great vision. And uh, we're here at 5th and Broadway at the place. Beautiful area. Nice. Should I show them what they can see? Oh, man, man let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. You know you safe here, brother. You in Fort Knox. After you, sir. Uh, Welcome to Nashville, baby. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is their life. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. By the way, by the way, this is Executive Director Jeff Chenault. Did I say that right? All right, very good. And this is your um, your God. Oh, let me catch up with you. So sorry, sir. Yeah, that's all right. Man, this is what air, baby. Folks come from all over the world to see this, y'all. You got the Batman Tower. This is where you want to be at. This is where you want to be at. At this hotel right here. The this is the apartment. This is these people's house, bro. Wow. This, yes, the National Museum of African American Music. Let me let me get the man in here. Where where are we at? We on Broadway. We on Broadway, Broadway right here. Beautiful man. Look at this that. is beautiful. Got the red stone arena. Got the pinnacle building, the Batman building. Ah, uh, but that's Tootsie. No, it's not Tootsie. That's uh, that building right there. 
Purple Building. Um, Tootsie's. Tootsie's. Tootsie's Orchard Lounge. Yeah. Yep. Tootsie. Orchard Lounge. However they say it. And then right down here, it's a, like a mall area. Uh, it's kind of fancy clothes down, but it's got food, all kind of stuff. You got Hattie B's, the best chicken in Nashville. The best chicken in Nashville. No, no bro. Princess. Bro, princess. I'm going to say that. Princess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hattie B's, uh, y'all good, though. Y'all good. We like you, too. Uh, like I said, man, what we're trying to do right now, uh, we're trying to start a profit or nonprofit organization to help people that's on. Addiction, recovery addiction, people that's homeless, men and women, people that's been through abuse, yes. in and out of jail, feel like they don't they can't get a job, they has got a felony, been there, done that. Um, yes. I'm still in work in progress with the too. upstairs. Me too. Um, ain't nobody perfect, man. And um, I'm you still working process first. with the state of Tennessee too, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta put him first, first, man. Anything should probably be him first. That's right. Nothing's gonna do right Doors will open when you choose to do right, you know what I mean? And I know it's hard for a lot of people out there that's addicted to something that they're not used to letting go. Uh, by saying that, um, our organization is here to help people give you resources to get your life in order on track, get yourself together in the right direction. I think that's, you said it best, bro. This is uh, Jeff and this is Benjamin. Um, on Sunday, we have exciting news. We're starting another nonprofit. And what's the name of it, Mr. Jeff? Freedom Outreach. Freedom Outreach. Yes. Yes. It's Freedom about Outreach. to blow up. It's about to change some lives, man. Um, get ready, baby. Get, get ready. ready, baby. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. You know anybody that needs help? Hit us up in that comment Hit box. You know, um, comment. Know. YouTube call us. I know you have any friends, family that's uh, fighting addiction. Uh, Loneliness, abuse, um, people that's like I said, that's felons, that's drug dealers, wherever you is, that's let's put that nice you know city I mean? behind us right quick, bro. Yeah, let them let let see that city. Let, let them, let, yeah, there we go. Oh, you see that right there? You see that? That's beautiful right that's there. That's beautiful right there. You can have fun and have this beautiful life without doing any drugs. Feel free. Feel free. But you gotta have God first in your life. You gotta have first. God first. Always. You gotta have business second. You know, Booker T. Washington said, You're not truly free until. You on your own business. But you gotta have God first. But you gotta have God first. That's the first key. I think this salvation. man looks like um. Don't say my name. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely looks like the great um executive director of the National Broadway Jewish League. By the way, this is your address for your building. When Google, folk Google this, they gonna see this. This is you. We live, baby. We live. We live, baby. We live. Visit our website, broadwayjubilee.us, benjamingrantlewis.com. And we're going to have another one for you all Sunday. Jeff Chanel. Jeff Chanel. Yes. So man, check us out. Check him out. But most importantly, check. Yeah. <laughs> and we out, guys. It's back. Yes. Over 2,000 years ago, uh, uh, in Bethlehem, uh, there was a little manger. Uh, there was uh, behind a little inn. Uh, it was placed in a little stable. And my, I, I wonder if that uh, a person who um, uh, uh, had to uh, construct that hotel or um, make that stable or build that stable or even build that little manger. Uh, realized that those sacred spaces uh, were the very bed of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I think that it's so unique, as I said in Hopkinsville, uh, that that little manger would end up inspiring some of the greatest architecture that the world has ever seen. You know, originally the church, the New Testament church, met in house churches. Uh, um, there were no steeples and um, there were no cathedrals. There were no um, worship centers, but they met in their homes. Uh, one room was set aside and the walls were painted. And on Sunday, the um, parishioners, the faithful, would come together to worship 
the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, but when a Constantine uh, got that vision from God, uh, he was the emperor of Rome, he decided to build large basilicas uh, uh, for Christian worship and make Christianity the official religion of Rome. Great, guys. So we're here in Nashville, Tennessee with Adrian. And, you know, 600,000 individuals are experiencing homelessness right now. And this is real. Um, what do you think about that? It gets me really emotional. Um, well, I heard someone say, Andrew, that there is a plan in place uh, to end homelessness, and what's going on around me right now is definitely a part of it that I want to be here. <laughs> Hello, this is uh, Jeff, and we are here at the Cathedral of the Incarnation, located on West End Avenue in Nashville, uh, Tennessee. Jeff, uh, what happened tonight? This has been amazing. It's been a long road, my oh, man. Struggling. Oh, no. I see that you are going to have a, 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 have a lot of fun with this. Yeah. But I want to ask you a quick question while we're on here. Okay. We just left the uh, Cathedral of Incarnation, and man, it's not what I was expecting. It was, right. It's an amazing. What what all was what all did we see there? That was uh, great. They feed you great. Um, Amen. One thing they also give you shelter, clothes, um, the necessities you need. Take a shower. Also, you can charge your phone, get on Wi Fi, watch movies. Um, but they also have uh, resources for people that's homeless to get back on their feet, get shelter. Uh, there's also a room in there, downtown Nashville. Um, they just provide safety, shelter, love, caring, people that care for you. Most people don't care. Like me, man, I'm a recovered addict. I've been there. I've been homeless. Um, it's a struggle. You know, but I thank him. You know, Amen. Uh, without him, there's nothing possible. But. Like I said, man, when we went there, it was it was love. When you open the door, it when was you the door. it was just love. It was peace, clean. Um, there was no judging. It was very quiet. It was very quiet. Very, very quiet. Um, people was very nice. You know, they talked to you. Most people like in downtown Nashville, shut. It's not like that. It's really it's really bad. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be it needs some structure. Um, but that place is very safe haven. Like um, you know, a uh, place that touch people hard. Man, people that don't feel like they don't have nowhere to go. Don't have nobody that places that place that yeah, safe. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I really, hey, I even got me some stuff. You know, boxers, t shirts. It's free. <laughs> 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 man, that chicken was good too. Was 
And you know, 600,000 people, you're going to keep hearing me say this, experience this homelessness. I know, like you said, I, I have. I mean, if you work hard, you're going to probably be homeless in America. Yeah. But Nashville does do a great job. Right. That's 600,000 people is the same as the population of Nashville, right. you know, downtown area. And uh, ministries like Room at the End, Nashville Rescue Mission, uh, they really work hard. Yeah, South by South by also helps people to, um, um, what's called, yeah, it's called, it's called, it's called, it's called, um, Salvation Army, they have a program called Rap and Rehousing. That's what I was here hustling. What is that about? It's for people that's homeless. Mm. It's a program that Joe Biden passed. Um, they got like a big grant where they take people off the streets and you go pick a place that you want to move to. They pay up your light bill, pay a year of your rent. They also have a program where they get you front and furnish the place. So once you sign your lease, they'll furnish the place today before you move in. Mm-hmm. So you got everything you need, necessities you need to live. Um, and they give you time to get a job, which they want you to get a job. You know what I mean? That's, that's what the whole program is to get on your feet. Um, actually, I got it. Um, I moved in my apartment on 16. Yeah, man. Uh, and you know, rent is high in Nashville. <laughs> well, I'm actually paying my sister's apartment manager. Mm. And I'm be paying nothing, but after it's over, I'll be paying uh, 865 for a two bedroom for me and my daughter. That is amazing. For a two bedroom town. That's good. You know, so. I'm blessed. I feel like I just gotta get a lot of things or myself mentally and with him. If I don't do it with him and do it right, then all my blessings gonna come down. Mm-hmm. So that's deep, Pastor Jeff. Yeah. You just made me work for it. I mean, I, I admire you, man. The um, you being willing and then having the resources and the information to share with the community just made my respect for you just like shoot like through the roof yeah. then come in here at fifth and broadway at the place right on top of the national museum of african-american music touching the world to piano and you got a voice to go along with it yeah. and i know that god has something great hallelujah i in store um for you and people are going to continue to be blessed through right. you healing is going to take hallelujah take place hallelujah glory you, glory man. glory 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 at your command and man so some folks are really gonna dance on Broadway too, man. I'm just here for you, you know, like you were here for me. I wanted to tell you, thank you very much. Great. Well, guys, this is Hallelujah Hometown. Let me see. All right, let me do something right quick. When we call it was right quick, um, as promised. Uh, you mind if I just touch this right quick before yeah. we get out of here before they kick us out? She closes out. This has been a great, 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 great this season. If you want to plug that up, because. Um, you know, they be hating on me. Um, okay. I see that you are going to have a, 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 have a lot of fun with this. Yeah. But I want to ask you a quick question while we're on here. Okay. We just left the uh, Cathedral of Incarnation, and man, it's not what I was expecting. It was right. it's an amazing. What what all was what all did we see there? That was uh, great. They feed you great. Um, Amen. One thing they also give you shelter, clothes, um, the necessities you need. Take a shower. Also, you can charge from your Wi Fi, watch movies. Um, but they also have uh, resources for people that's homeless to get back on their feet, get shelter. Um, there's also a room in downtown Nashville. Um, they just provide safety, shelter, love, care, and people that care for you. Most people don't care. Like me, man, I'm a recover addict. I've been there. I've been homeless. Um, it's a struggle. You know, but I thank him. You know, Amen. Uh, but I him does nothing possible. But like I said, man, when we went there, it was it was love. When you opened the door, it when was you the door. it was just love. It was peace, clean. Um, 
there was no judging. It was very quiet. It was very quiet. Peaceful. Yeah, very peaceful. Quiet. Um, people was very nice. You know, they talked to you. Most people, like in downtown Nashville, shut it's not like that. It's really, it's really bad. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be it needs some structure. Um, but that place was very safe haven, like kind of you know, a uh, place that touch people hard. You know, people that don't feel like they don't have nowhere to go, don't have nobody. That place is that place that mm-hmm. safe haven. You know what I mean? So I really. Hey, I ain't got me some stuff, you know. Box was teacher. It's free. <laughs> hey, 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 Jover, man, that chicken uh, was good chicken too. Was and you know, six hundred thousand people, you're gonna keep hearing me say this: experience this homelessness. I know, like you said, I, I have. I mean, if you work hard, you're gonna probably be homeless in America. Yeah. But Nashville does do a great job. Right. That's six hundred thousand people is the same as the population of Nashville, right. you know, downtown area. And uh, ministries like Room at the End, Nashville Rescue Mission. Well, they really work hard. They South by South South also helps people to, um, um, what's it called? Yeah, it's, South, it's called, it's called, it's called, um, Salvation Army. They have a program called Rapid Rehousing. That's what I was here hustling. What is that about? It's for people that's homeless. Mm. It's a program that Joe Biden passed. Um, they got like a big grant where they take people off the streets and you go pick a place that you want to move to. They pay up your light bill, pay a year of your rent. They also have a program where they get you fur- furnished the place. So once you sign your lease, they'll furnish the place today before you move in. Mm-hmm. So you got everything you need, the steps you need to live. Um, and they give you time to get a job, which they want you to get a job. You know what I mean? That's, that's what the whole program is to get on your feet. Um, actually, I got it. Um, I moved in my apartment on the 16th. Uh, and you know, rent is high in Nashville. <laughs> well, I'm actually paying my sister's apartment manager. Mm. And, I'm be paying nothing, but after it's over, I'll be paying uh, eight sixty five for two bedroom for me and my daughter. That is amazing for two bedroom town. That's good, you know. So I'm blessed. I feel like I just gotta get a lot of things or myself mentally and with him. If I don't do it with him and do it right, then all my best is gonna come down. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's deep, Pastor Jeff. <sighs> You didn't make me work for it. I mean, I, I admire you, man, the, um, you being willing and then having the resources and the information to share with the community just made my respect for you just like shoot like through the roof. Yeah. Then coming in here at Fifth and Broadway at the place, right in, on top of the National Museum of African American Music, touching the world into piano, and you got a voice to go along with it. Yeah. And I know that God has something great. Hallelujah. In store um, for you, and people are going to continue to be blessed through right. you. Healing is going to take, hallelujah, take place. Hallelujah. Glory, you, glory, 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 glory at your command. And man, some, <clears throat> some folks are really going to dance on Broadway too, man. I'm just here for you, like you were here for me. I want to tell you, thank you very much. Great. Well, guys, this is Hallelujah Hometown. Let me see. All right, let me do something right quick. Let me close right quick. Um, as promised, uh, mind if I just touch this right quick before yeah. we get out of here before they keep us out. She close us out. This has been a great, 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 great fifth season. If you want to plug that up because, um, you know, they be hating on me. Um, okay. In 2022, I have traveled to some of the most sacred, beautiful places of worship throughout the United States. Um, the Basilica of the Sacred Heart there at the University of Notre Dame, um, the Riverside Cathedral in New York, St. Paul's, and several others. Um, But during this Advent season, um, we thought it fit to uh, bring it home and show you some of the most holy grounds of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and Middle Tennessee. So on the 10th, we were at the Cathedral of the Assumption, a church that was founded in 1832 in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Um, The church has foregone $20 million in renovations, and currently they're even updating um, the church pipe organ by adding more pipes. One of the things that I enjoyed is while I was there, the doors were open. Um, One of the staff members was working hard, um, but God was working hard too. Um, One of the citizens of Louisville walked in to pray and to confess, and then another citizen walked in, not a priest, but a parishioner, a believer, just like you and me, uh, to encourage his brother. 
The architecture of Christ Church shows us that we are protected, that there is safety, and it also invites us to share in the majesty of heaven. Um, on Sunday, we were in Hopkinsville, Kentucky at the Freeman Chapel Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, which is a historic African-American church in Christian County. Founded in 1866, the church purchased property on Virginia Street in 1923, and in 1926, it held its first service in the current sanctuary. Ms. Patricia Rogers shared a plethora of information about the historic uh, congregation. Um, she talked about the nursery school um, that was there um, when she was growing up. I really enjoyed hearing about how they used to have to tiptoe uh, into service, where it's uh, not to make too much noise. Um, I love Freeman Chapel. It's a home for me. Um, but I want to pause and say it does not matter how big the space, how majestic the space, um, the materials that are used. Um, God, he will meet us there. You know, in Genesis, there was a man by the name of Jacob who had a problem with his brother Esau. And you know the story of how Jacob wrestled with the angel all night long. Well, after that fight, <laughs> Oh, Jacob got uh, sleepy, didn't he? And um, he found a stone for his pillow. While he was laying on that hard stone, he said, Lord, I'm going to call this place Peniel. Peniel means, for God is here, and I knew it not. You know, it doesn't matter if you're in an old closet like Grandma was when she prayed, um, a storefront, or uh, even riding in your car. Uh, God he meets you there, and this body is, it is the temple of the Lord. More seriously, during this holiday season, 600,000 individuals are going to experience homelessness. On yesterday, we um, visited the great city of Nashville. That's right, Music City, and we met with some great folks at the Cathedral of the Incarnation. Uh, Amy, who is a caretaker uh, for Room in the Inn um, that houses 20 men five days out of the week, and partners with local churches in the metropolitan area. Um, Amy has the responsibility of staying overnight uh, with the men um, to make sure that they are safe and um, for health concerns and just to encourage and to pray. Wow. Thank you so much, Amy. Then we also met Mr. Roger, who is a former insurance salesman. He is a parishioner uh, there in the city of Nashville. But Mr. Roger volunteers with a room in the inn in Nashville um, at least three times a week uh, to help feed, clothe, shower, and uh, encourage um, those who are experiencing homelessness. We also met with Adrian, who um, was taking advantage of the services um, last night. He recently <clears throat> found himself in a halfway position, and um, Adrian said that there is a plan in place to end homelessness, and he wants to be a part of it. Uh, Jeff encouraged us at the end of the broadcast, and you'll see all of this on YouTube here in the next couple of days. And I want to say congratulations to Jeff. Jeff and I will be uh, chartering our fourth nonprofit organization in the state of Tennessee. This one is called Freedom Outreach, which will provide services to those who are homeless, battling addiction, um, single mothers, folks who are depressed and abused, and we know that God is going to put his hand on it. So I look forward to sharing that uh, with you. It is forthcoming. In closing, I want to focus on that passage found in Luke, the second chapter, at verse 7. When she conceived her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothing and laid him in a manger, for there was no room for them in the inn. If you have shelter, if you have a place of worship, if you have folks who love you, if you know that you have a God that loves you, on December the 25th, 
I want to invite you to enter into the house of God and give him some praise. But before you do that, while you're doing that, after you're doing that, I want to challenge you to commit eight hours monthly to free community service to your fellow man. Whether it's picking up trash, donating food, or just being a listening ear. You'll enjoy it. And God will too. Until next time. Hello and happy holidays from Broadway, Jubilee Amenities and Concierge Society. <clears throat> I hope that you are having a great one. As you can see around me, um, the weather is quite nice and a little warmer than usual for a typical um, December. And so a lot of people are taking advantage of the outdoors. You can see a lot of people here in, are fishing. I'm at the um, Liberty Park in Clarksville, Tennessee. As you know, our primary objective is to end homelessness by the year 2099 in um, the state of Tennessee and the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And our secondary objective is community service. So I want to remind you, I know the holidays are here. But please, 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 please commit at least one hour to uh, community service. Just take a picture, take a video, and um, send it to your area president so that we can have that documented. But more than, uh, more importantly, that the work is done. So um, just go out, do some community service. And I also encourage everyone to give, 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 give. <clears throat> We've been giving to um, AMBETS. have visited some of the most beautiful and sacred spaces uh, in all of America. So far, we've stopped by Louisville, Kentucky, at the Cathedral of the Assumption. That congregation started off as the St. Louis Church in Louisville, Kentucky in 1805, and somewhere um, before the Civil War, they would construct the, a building that would become the tallest building for over a hundred years in the city of Louisville. Now, the name would be change to the Cathedral of the Assumption. A bishop's crypt and a priest's crypt are housed there. Oh, you saw all of the beauty, the, that majestic organ and the beautiful altar and just the sweet Holy Spirit that reigned in there. Matter of fact, as I entered into that sanctuary, um, the rector was there working and cleaning up, but the church was at work. There was a young man uh, who was there praying and making his confession to Almighty God, and the church was at work. After that, another young man came, and he encouraged his brother in Christ. Uh, oh, that just sticks with the theme, doesn't it? That the architecture will draw us, um, the architecture will protect us, and it will remind us of God's love for us. Then we have traveled to that great Freeman Chapel Christian Methodist Episcopal Church that was established in 1866 on 9th Street in the city of Hopkinsville. Now, somewhere around 1923, the church would buy a lot on Virginia Street, and now for nearly 100 years, Con that congregation has been worshiping and lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That building stands as a testimony to the hard work of, of a community. Uh, when a community comes together, because um, there were African Americans and there were Caucasians and um, all of them are God's people who put their time, their sweat, and their labor in to building that edifice on Virginia Street. And, and now, over a, nearly a hundred years later, we're still lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Another special thing about that building, uh, it um, 
was also a cathedral in a sense because Bishop Luther Stewart would become the bishop of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. His office was actually in the parsonage uh, of the Freeman Chapel uh, Christian Methodist, then the colored Methodist Episcopal Church in Hopkinsville. And Bishop Luther Stewart is uh, buried uh, there uh, in the Hopkinsville Cemetery. His body still rests there today. Praise God. Um, tonight we travel to Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> you know that's my favorite city, that city for me, that great music city, the home of the Fish Jubilee Singers, of um, the Country um, Music Awards, the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Ryman Auditorium, the old Gospel Tabernacle. But it's also the home of the Cathedral of the uh incarnation and we had a great time i really was blessed just seeing how god is he's always working you know i am passionate about ending um homelessness not only in america but all over the world uh, when we arrived brother uh, jeff and i to the cathedral there on west end we went and we're shaking trying to get into the church Around six o'clock and the doors uh, facing West End were locked and I was really discouraged. I said, man, you know, these doors are never locked. Then we went around the corner. We had to keep on looking. Uh, amen. And as we um, kept walking and we ended up at the social hall, uh, which is located in the rear of the church. And when we opened up those doors, I believe I saw heaven. There were 20 beds that uh, were laid out in that social hall. There were 20 men eating some good fried chicken and some good dessert and salad and, and drinks. And there was movies playing and folks were calling their families for the first time in a long time. Um, the big big tall and rough men but nobody was fighting and nobody was arguing um everybody was enjoying um the power of god when the people of god come together that architecture reminds us that god has a heavenly home for for us and it doesn't matter how big your space is. It doesn't matter where your space is, how old it is. What matters is uh, um, that it is the temple of God. <laughs> I'm reminded of uh, the book of Genesis when uh, Jacob, mm -hmm, hallelujah, uh, you need to go back and read that uh, um, in Genesis when uh, Jacob, uh, a man, he wrestled with the Lord all night long. And he said, uh, I'm going to call this place Peniel uh, because the Lord has been here and I knew it not. That's what a way in a manger is about. That's what these cathedrals, all of these beautiful and sacred spaces. It may be a sacred space in your home. It may be that old closet that grandma talk about. But but the important thing is that God, that same God that created Adam and Eve, that same God that was in the fiery furnace, that same God that turned a stone into a pillow for Jacob, that same Christ who hung, bled, suffered, and died, that historical Jesus Christ, he invites you through the power of his Holy Spirit to, to salvation, full and free, in the architecture of the church. I want to say thank you to Brother um, Jeff in Louisville at the Cathedral of the Assumption for uh, giving us um, a little history behind that church. And thank you to Sister Patricia um, in Hopkinsville at Freeman Chapel for um, sharing her love uh, for her church. And then I want to say thank you to um, Brother Roger and um, Sister Amy and Brother Adrian and Brother Jeff for uh, their participation um, during our recording in um, Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> I would love to be your pastor. I would love to be your bishop. I would love to be your friend. But more importantly, I would love to walk the streets of heaven with you one day. And I want to encourage you to give me a call. If you need somebody to fuss at, 
Need somebody to pray with you? Need somebody just to vent? Give me a call. I love listening. And uh, share, share, share. Like, share. Um, and pray that God blesses these videos that someone is saying. You may visit our website at hallelujahoptown.square.site and benjamingrantlewis.com and broadwayjubilee.us. I am so excited that on this Sunday and Monday, um, this ministry and our nonprofits are growing. We will form and charter a new nonprofit in the state of Tennessee, Freedom Outreach, a nonprofit for the homeless, for convicted felons, single mothers, and young men. I am so glad to welcome um, Jeff Chenault, who is a graduate of Middle Tennessee State University uh, to lead us in his vision of what community service should look like. Also, um, we will establish the first Metropolitan Baptist Church of Nashville, Tennessee and the Temple Memorial Methodist Church of Nashville, Tennessee on Sunday. Um, these churches will be established on uh, paper. We will take two years to vigorously and strategically recruit individuals that um, can benefit from the services of the church. I want to say a little prayer as I close. Once in David's royal city stood a low and cattle shed. God, we thank you tonight. Amen. This is Grant Lewis, your host, and until next time, hallelujah, hometown. So she really doesn't have to be here. She can be a voice in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah.